Welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll give you 16 tips on how to write the perfect blurb for your book, along with examples to help you. So let's get started. First of all, you might be wondering what exactly is a blurb? Well, a blurb is a brief promotional piece or summary found on the back cover or inside flap of a book. Its purpose is to provide potential readers with a concise overview of the book's content, encouraging them to read further. A well-written blurb typically includes key elements such as the main characters, setting, central conflict, and any intriguing twists or themes, all while maintaining an engaging and captivating tone. Blurb writing is an art form that aims to capture the essence of a book and draw readers in with a compelling narrative or description. Take a look at this example blurb from the First Warriors book. It opens with a bold statement, fire alone can save our clan, immediately raising questions and setting the stage for a high stakes conflict. It then introduces the concept of the four clans, their warrior ancestors and the current danger faced by ThunderClan, establishing a distinct world with its own rules and history. The mention of mysterious deaths adds a layer of intrigue and suggests deeper danger beyond the surface conflict. Rusty, an ordinary house cat, appears as an unexpected element, hinting at his potential role as an unlikely hero. The blurb concludes by suggesting Rusty's bravery and future warrior status, promising an exciting journey as he navigates the dangerous world of the clans. Overall, the blurb is concise, action-oriented, and uses strong verbs to create a sense of urgency and mystery. It effectively introduces the core elements of the story and entices readers to discover Rusty's fate and the future of the clans. Now let's get started with our top 16 tips for writing a good blurb for your book. Tip 1. Understand your book. Before you start writing, make sure you have a clear understanding of your book's main themes, characters, and plot points. Identify the key elements you want to highlight. Some elements you might want to consider may include what are the core messages or ideas your book explores? For example, self-discovery, courage, overcoming adversity, and so on. Who are the main characters and what are their motivations and goals? Which character will resonate most with your target audience? What is the central conflict that drives the story? What are the conventions and expectations of your genre? For example, fast-paced action for thrillers, emotional depth for romances, magic and mystery for fantasy novels, and so on. And finally, consider asking yourself, what is the one thing I want readers to remember after reading this blurb? This is the most important question to ask when writing a blurb. By deeply understanding your book and its various elements, you can craft a blurb that truly hooks readers and entices them to dive deeper into your world. Tip 2. Know your audience. Determine who your target audience is. Consider what aspects of your book would most appeal to them and tailor your blurb accordingly. Think about your target audience's age, reading habits, interests, hobbies, pain points, desires, language and tone. For example, if your book is a dystopian fantasy novel featuring a female main character, then your target audience might be teenagers who enjoy dystopian fiction. The blurb should focus on the thrilling escape from a repressive society, the relatable struggles of the teenage protagonist, and the exciting exploration of a dangerous new world. Remember, your blurb is like a short conversation with your ideal reader. By understanding their interests, motivations, and expectations, you can craft a message that speaks directly to them and makes them want to pick up your book. Tip 3. Study blurbs. You might also want to read blurbs from books in your genre to get a sense of their structure and style. Pay attention to what elements grab your attention as a reader. Focus on how the blurb begins, its overall format, and the closing line to get an idea of how to format your blurb. Take a look at these examples of real-life book blurbs from the first Mistborn book and the first Hunger Games novel. What captivates you the most when reading these? Tip 4. Craft a compelling hook. It's important to grab attention with the first sentence. Use a question, surprising fact, or intriguing statement to make readers stop and take notice. You could even tease at the main challenge your character faces without giving away the ending. Here are some examples of compelling hooks to start a blurb with. 
These blurbs all effectively grab attention using different techniques, such as hinting at an unresolved event, starting with high stakes, or asking a relatable question. Each approach highlights different aspects of the story, aiming to intrigue and engage the reader in different ways. The best choice depends on the specific genre, tone, and target audience of your story. Tip 5. Introduce the main character and setting. Briefly introduce the main characters and the world they inhabit. Provide enough detail to give readers a sense of who they are and what challenges they face. Give readers a glimpse of the protagonist's personality, goals, and motivations, and highlight any unique traits or challenges they face. Take a look at these examples. All the examples effectively introduce characters and the setting. They highlight key personality traits, such as Alara's rebellious spirit and Anya's logical approach, as well as character goals, such as unraveling the truth and finding connection. They also showcase unique elements of the setting, such as dusty archives and a space station controlled by robots. Overall, these blurbs create intrigue and establish the foundation for the characters' journeys. Tip 6. Raise the stakes. Describe the consequences of the conflict and why it matters. What's at stake for the characters if they fail to overcome their challenges? The goal here is to create a sense of urgency and emotional connection. Take a look at these examples of how to raise the stakes in a blurb. Each example highlights the personal consequences of failure and the ticking clock. Alara risks losing herself to the darkness and Kai faces losing her loved one or compromising herself. Each character struggle creates urgency and emotional connection, leaving readers invested in their choices. Tip 7. Hint at conflict. Hinting at conflict in your blurb can create intrigue and raise the stakes for your characters. This doesn't mean spoiling the main conflict, but rather giving enticing glimpses of challenges, internal battles, or external threats your protagonist faces. This could involve mentioning their forbidden quest, a ticking clock putting pressure on their actions, or a hint at the dark consequences of their choices. By showcasing both the character's desires and the obstacles they must overcome, you hook readers with a sense of tension and anticipation, leaving them eager to uncover the full story and witness the protagonist's struggle. Take a look at these examples. Each example illustrates how conflict can be used in blurbs. Anya's conflict is between her desire and the established order of her world. Alara's conflict is the potential dangers and challenges involved in her quest. While Alice has to face the internal conflict of her fears in a high-stakes situation, remember, the key is to entice readers without giving away the whole story. Tip 8. Use active verbs. In a blurb, every word counts. Choosing strong verbs that convey action and movement instantly engages the reader. Instead of saying the protagonist faced a challenge, use a verb like confronted, battled, or navigated. Instead of things changed, say reality warped or her world imploded. Active verbs create a sense of immediacy and draw the reader into the story's world. Remember, you want your blurb to be dynamic and exciting, and powerful verbs are a key ingredient in achieving that. Take a look at this example. This blurb uses active verbs like hunts, gnaws, lurks, gambles, ignites, whisper, cling, reclaim, and ignite to create a sense of action, immediacy, and danger. These verbs draw the reader into the story's world and highlight the character's challenges and choices. Tip 9. Keep it short. Aim for 100 to 150 words unless specified otherwise by your publisher or platform. Every sentence should count. Avoid unnecessary information or filler words. Remember to refer to real-life examples of blurbs in your book's genre to get an idea of blurb length, format, and language. Take a look at this example. This blurb introduces the character's conflict, power, and stakes, all within the recommended word count. Tip 9. Match the tone. The key is to align the language and style of your blurb with the overall tone of your story. This means considering elements like mood, genre, and target audience. If your story is a lighthearted comedy, your blurb should be witty and playful. For a dark thriller, your blurb might use suspenseful language and leave the reader with an unsettling feeling. Matching the tone ensures your blurb accurately represents the reading experience and attracts the right audience. 
Imagine your blurb as a handshake or first impression. It should give readers a taste of what awaits them within the pages, enticing them to explore further. Here is an example of a lighthearted adventure fantasy novel. This blurb uses playful language, humorous details, and lighthearted phrasing to match the tone of a fun and whimsical teenage fantasy adventure. Tip 11. Consider using endorsements. Endorsements in the form of positive quotes or ratings from established figures in the industry can act as social proof, lending credibility and potentially attracting readers who trust the recommender's taste and expertise. However, it's crucial to choose relevant and respected individuals within your genre or target audience to ensure authenticity and impact. Remember, endorsements should be genuine and insightful, highlighting specific aspects of your story that resonated with the recommender and would appeal to their audience. Used effectively, endorsements can add a layer of trust and intrigue, drawing in readers who might not have otherwise discovered your work. Take a look at these examples of endorsements for the first Hunger Games novel and the second Harry Potter book. These blurbs feature endorsements from relevant authors, professional magazines, and newspapers, all highlighting specific aspects of the story that appeal to the target audience. Tip 12. Don't reveal spoilers. The focus of a blurb is on maintaining your story's mystery and intrigue. While a blurb aims to hook readers, it shouldn't give away key plot twists, character reveals, or the ending. Instead, tease the central conflict, introduce the protagonist's journey, and hint at the stakes without divulging specific details that would diminish the reading experience. Remember, the blurb is a taste, not the entire meal. By leaving some elements to the imagination, you entice readers to discover the answers within the story, ensuring a more rewarding and engaging experience. Take a look at this example. This blurb introduces the character's conflict, goal, and stakes without revealing the source of the darkness, the shocking truth, or the outcome of her choice. It leaves the reader curious and wanting to discover the answers. Tip 13. Create a sense of urgency. It can be important to convey a ticking clock or looming threat in your blurb. This doesn't necessarily mean revealing specific deadlines or dangers, but rather hinting at the consequences of inaction or the limited time frame the protagonist has to achieve their goal. You can emphasize a character's race against time, the potential dangers they face with each passing moment, or the escalating stakes if they fail. By injecting a sense of urgency, you create suspense and raise the emotional stakes, making readers invested in the protagonist's journey and eager to see if they can overcome the challenges before it's too late. Take a look at this example. This blurb emphasizes the ticking clock by mentioning the specific time frame of two weeks, escalating danger with mentions of monsters and growing threats, and highlighting the consequences of inaction, such as devouring hope and a falling realm. It leaves readers wondering if Rowan will succeed before it's too late. Tip 14. Reveal surprises carefully. The key is to balance teasing intriguing elements without spoiling the actual twists and turns of your story. This means hinting at unexpected developments, hidden truths, or shocking reveals, but doing so in a way that piques curiosity without giving away the punchline. Think of it like leaving breadcrumbs for the reader to follow, leading them into the story without handing them the map. Use evocative language, surprising imagery, or cryptic clues to suggest that there's more to the story than meets the eye but avoid explicitly mentioning the surprises themselves. This approach helps maintain the thrill of discovery and ensures readers are genuinely surprised and engaged as they unravel the mysteries along with your characters. Take a look at this example. This blurb hints at surprising elements like hidden cities, prophecies, and dream manipulation without revealing the details, using descriptive language and a sense of mystery to entice readers. Tip 15. End with call to action. End your blurb with a strong call to action that leaves the reader wanting more and encourages them to engage with your story. This could be a question that fuels their curiosity, a statement that invites them to learn more, or a specific direction to follow, such as reading the book, watching the trailer, or following your social media. Remember, the call to action should be brief, 
enticing, and directly relevant to your story's core message or genre. Take a look at these examples for blurb closing lines. These call to actions directly ask the reader a question, highlight a crucial decision, and even tease at a possible hidden danger or mystery in the story. This leaves the reader with a lingering question and a desire to discover more. Tip 16, proofread and revise. Ensure your blurb is polished and professional. This involves meticulously checking for typos, grammatical errors, and awkward phrasing. Additionally, revise for clarity, conciseness, and impact. Aim for an active voice and strong verbs to keep the blurb dynamic. Ensure the blurb accurately reflects the tone and genre of your story. Read it aloud to identify any clunky sentences or areas that need improvement. Remember, your blurb is a crucial first impression, so taking the time to polish it thoroughly ensures it conveys the best possible representation of your work and attracts the right readers. Remember, your blurb is a mini trailer for your book, so make it count. Use strong verbs, active language, and intriguing hints to create a captivating experience. Leave some elements to the imagination, enticing readers to dive into the full story and discover the answers for themselves. That's all from us today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more lessons and ideas. See you next time.